Hey everyone, welcome to the Children's Science Center. Today we're going to take a look inside the lab. We are in the Inspiration Hub right now and we are going to do an exhibit called Catching the Wind. My name is Melissa and we are going to take a look at how wind turbines work. Have you ever seen a wind turbine? Well, there's lots of different wind turbines. They can be on the land, like our exhibit right here, and they can even be on the sea. So engineers have designed many different types of wind turbines. And one of the factors that we are gonna change today here in our experiment is we're gonna change how the fins of the wind turbines look. So we have this skinny one, we have one that kind of looks like a canoe paddle, and we have this big wide one. So I have one set up right here already, and it's got those big wide ones already here. I wanted to try out if we had half as many of the wind turbines of the same kind. And I have some of these skinny ones because I wanted to see how that would work. So how do wind turbines work? Well, it uses the power of the wind and it spins the blade. That motion creates energy. That motion is actually concentrated into a generator and that generator transforms that mechanical energy into electricity. We don't need any other oil or gas or fuel to power it. It uses the power of the wind and it's renewable. We can always have the wind. We can always recreate it. So it's a really good source of energy. So do you want to see it? Let's try it out. Let's see. I'm going to add one more paddle to my wind turbine here. So you can take them out and put them in whatever way that you like. And we're going to watch these bars over here and it's going to see how much energy is generated. And we're going to watch to see which one wins. Will it be number one? Will it be number two? Or will it be number three? Let's go. Whoa! So, if you saw really closely, number three was the first to reach the max energy. Then number one reached the max energy. And then number two was the slowest at generating that max energy. So why do you think number three works so much better than number one and number two? Well, these thin arms are said to move really even more efficiently, efficiently than the big wide wings. And did you know that this shape is actually inspired by the shape of the fins of a humpback whale. Isn't that cool? To see how those fins might jump through the water and move through the water like a whale, just like it would move and cut through the air and make it move really fast and really smooth. Thank you for joining me here today at the Children's Science Center. I hope you enjoyed our time looking in the lab.